Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading starting with Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of February 2024. Alright, so let's see what messages we have coming out for Aries. Alright, so the overall energy is the Ace of Cups. We have the Devil, Death, we have the Moon, the Magician, Two of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and Two of Swords. Okay, so I kind of feel like there is something intense happening uh, in regards to your love life, maybe, you know, who you're currently dealing with. Uh, or someone who's coming towards you. I kind of feel like maybe something happened in your life that made you become, um, made you become um, maybe possessive or codependent. I'm getting a couple of things here. Um, another thing I'm getting here is that Something really intense uh, was born through um, an ending or a tragedy or something of that sense. Like something happened um, and you were going through some sort of transformation, but it, it brought two intense individuals together. Um, and I, I also feel like you're currently dealing with something that could be very karmic. Mm. Definitely see shadow work. I feel like someone is maybe a manifestation of, of your darkness, really. Something that's really intense within you. Um, something that you try to bury or suppress. Um, I really just feel that that that's what this person is. Um, now, I don't want to scare anybody, but I do want to warn against any uh, abusive type relationships. I don't know if you're currently in that situation and need to get out um, or if there is a possibility that... Um, you end up with someone who turns out to be that way. Um, I almost have like a vengeful energy too coming from um, the past, uh, more so like a past life. Um, and you know, something is kind of like love hate. Uh, there's an intense feeling and I feel like whatever these feelings are, are coming from a previous life. Like, Sometimes you come across people and you're just like, I don't know why um, I, I don't like that person or I don't know why this person is making me feel uneasy. Um, I really just kind of feel like it's a suppressed memory. Um, it's something that's still in the DNA that is being activated or awakened. Um, and I don't know, I just kind of feel like I'm getting a little bit of violent history for some reason. Um, somebody also might bring that side out of you, especially with that Aries is ruled by Mars and Mars is a violent planet. Um, so especially if you have like Mars and Aries or maybe Mars and Scorpio, um, you know, I just kind of feel like it, this person, this connection is bringing that side out of you or they have the ability to maybe you don't trust yourself around that person because you know that they can make you go there. Um, so I feel like there needs to be a sense of control when dealing with this type of energy. I do feel though that you're in search of unconditional love and that's really something that's all you really wanted. You could have had mommy issues or you're dealing with someone who had mommy issues. Um, there are some deep-rooted trust and abandonment issues going on. Um, 
So whoever you're dealing with, I feel like this person is just trying to show you things um, that you need to heal. Um, there also may be some sort of connection with um, your Chiron and their planet or vice versa. Somebody is also just very charming, very good at um, deflecting or covering up their mistakes. Um, you might be very suspicious on, about somebody and not really know how to read them or put your finger on them because they're so layered. They're so complex. Like um, This is the type of person that you don't really like seeing acting calm in some situation where you know somebody would be enraged. This person is coming off very calm. Or this is the type of person that kind of laughs when something's going on. It's, it's like the wrong reaction. You know that person's like a nut job. You know they're crazy. This could be you. Maybe you refer to yourself as this. Um, but I do feel like somebody, like if you see this person being calm or laughing during a situation that you know it shouldn't be, like run, <laughs> like get away because I, I don't know. I just kind of feel that, you know, mm. and this person, I feel like they do not forget when you've done them wrong. Um, I guess it's kind of in a sense like an elephant. It's like that memory is just like always there. It's like I'm never going to forget. Like I know that happened so long ago. So definitely could be strong uh, scorpion placements here. Um, uh, in fact, also could be dealing with uh, Capricorn or Pisces. Um, but I feel that somebody wants revenge Somebody is playing mind games. I feel like somebody wants something. And they're very clever. Um, like I said, you can't figure this person out. Uh, someone is... Um, they're doing something over and over again. They're coming out very confusing. You're like, I don't know what they want. Um, I can't tell. I can't tell if they're going or coming. And then two, you could be dealing with someone who has like depression or uh, a bipolar disorder. Uh, you you very well could be dealing with someone like that. And I'm seeing secrets too. I feel like somebody reveals secrets, but in a playful way, but not really like, you know how you can slip a lot of things through rap lyrics and then it's just like, wait, did they just confess to what? Let me rewind that. Like, I kind of feel like um, somebody um, is very good at saying things in a playful way where you don't know if they're serious or not. Or maybe they, you know, just confess something so, uh, you know, so ridiculous that you're like, are you serious? Are you serious? It's like, no, I didn't do that. No, I'm just kidding. You know, it's just like, no. I don't think they were kidding. So you could be dealing with someone who has like very dangerous tendencies. Um, this person is like, don't play with my heart. Like play with my heart and I'm coming for blood. Like I just really feel like somebody is like, don't do that. Um, now someone also could be pushing you away for your own good or for your protection because they know how they can be or how they can get. Um, so it could be that somebody is trying to block you or maybe you're the one doing this. Another thing, maybe you're aware of someone's ways and they're trying to come back into your life, but you just don't trust them and you want to keep them at a distance and, you know. Yeah, so you got some crazy energies coming through you guys, but hopefully it's helpful to somebody i'm not trying to scare anybody but um you know that's what i'm picking up on so uh feel free to leave your feedback thank you for watching sending love and grace